guys how are you all um for starters let me send out a massive massive apology okay so i said on twitter ages ago that i would have a video for you and it has taken me this long to actually do it i am so so sorry um honestly the amount of stuff that's been kind of piling up here has just been mental so i apologize for making you guys wait i figured that a good video for me to do for you would be a haul uh, because I don't do very many of them so I thought I'd just I just change it up a little bit and um you know get some get some hauling done <laughs> so um basically what I have here is um a boots haul um there's a couple of stuff from Tesco's and then I did a big haul uh, big shop from Cosmetic Fairy um, which I've used before and I think they're amazing. I'll put the link below and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But honestly, the amount of stuff that's here, I should really, really just kind of get cracking. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've actually been buying a lot of stuff from uh, the Natural Collection, uh, from Boots. I haven't bought anything from the Natural Collection for a long, long time. So I thought, we'll go and see what they've got. I figured if I hadn't been there for a while, then they might have some new stuff um, and I was pleasantly surprised they did have a few little bits and bobs which I got so the first thing whoa there Nelly the first thing I got was the um, colour foundation and I got this one in porcelain uh, because porcelain is really really good for my skin um, my skin tone it's not too dark that's the biggest blob of foundation ever it's no good yeah, that's better so as you can see, it's it's quite light, but it works really, really well, and it just blends so evenly. I absolutely love this foundation. Um, it's just a really, really beautiful colour, and I used to use it quite a lot, and then I kind of started to use um, um, things like Too True and other kind of um, products like that. But I think I'm going to start going back to the Natural Collection because for something that works as well as it does for me and for the price, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm really, really liking the prices of it. So um, I bought a blush and this is in the colour Pink Cloud. And I'll show you it in the packet. And I was actually really, really annoyed because by the time I got it home, and I don't know if it was just me, uh, but it is, um, it's slightly shattered, which I'm not overly happy with but there's the colour of it it's just really really beautiful um light light pink it's just there on my finger so you can just about just about pick it out um I only bought it because of the colour of it because of the fact that it's shattered I don't know if it's going to make an incredibly amazing good blush so this may just become um another eye colour uh, I don't know how it's going to work out yet but it's called pink cloud um and yeah I just thought it was really really cute until as I said, I got it home and it was a bit cracked. Um, but one of their um, cream blushes, I'm starting to use cream blush a lot at the moment. It's become one of my new favourite products to use. Um, primarily because I think, what? <laughs> primarily because I think in the um, in the winter, um, I don't know why, but the colours of my cheeks kind of fade if I use a powder. It seems to fade a lot, lot quicker when I wear um, a powder blush. Um, whereas obviously if you use a um, cream blush, uh, they tend to last a lot longer. So um, I just need to kind of keep on top of making sure my makeup lasts all day. Because it's not at the moment. It's really annoying. So there's the colour there. It's this really, really beautiful kind of apricotty peach colour. And I've used way too much for a swatch, especially for a blush, but it just looks like that. So you can see just a really beautiful pink tinge, um, which will hopefully just last, as I said, a little bit longer, but we'll see. Um, the rest are all lip products, two lip glosses and two lipsticks. Um, because I keep saying to you guys I don't really wear lipsticks, well, tough, I'm going to start doing it because I have so many and I've bought more, so I really should probably start wearing some. Um, Again, from the Natural Collection, this is one of the tinted lip balms, and this is in Lychee Twist. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I absolutely love lychees. And I was in the shop, and I was smelling it, and I thought, oh, that's quite nice. And I got home, and it says fragrance-free. So God knows what I was smelling, but it smelled nice anyway, whatever it was. It was probably something on my hand. Um, it's a very clear um, lip gloss, uh, lip balm, but it's got a slight shimmer in it there's a few little um there's a slight hint of color in that 
but I just love the name. I love lychee. It's so good. Um, and a couple of lipsticks. This one in Candy Mist. Yep. And this one in Fig Leaf. Two completely opposite colours. One very, very pale pink and one quite dark. Um, this is the Candy Mist. As you can see, it's just a really beautiful light baby pink. Incredibly sheer, this lipstick. I'm really going to have to do quite a hard swatch with that. And I still don't think you're going to see it. You can just see it coming out on my hand very, very slightly. It's such a sheer, sheer lipstick. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to using that, but at the same time, there's kind of in my head, like, why did you buy it if you can't see it? So that's why I picked up this one. This one's Fig Leaf, and it's much more to the kind of colour that you'd expect from me for um, lip colours. Again, very sheer. I've done quite a lot of a rub on there to get a decent swatch for you. But it's really, really pretty. So I got that. So that's everything from the Natural Collection. I then went around and had a look at other places, mainly um, Collection 2000. I wanted their Ultimate Fix 3-in-1 um, Foundation Concealer and Powders, and this is in the colour Honey. And primarily I got this because I was asked ages ago, probably before Christmas, to do a review on it. And I thought, I can't really review with what I've got. This is the one I already own. And you can't really do too much of you know, a comparison to anything else with what's left. Um, so I bought another one, um, but um, there is a review on this coming very, very soon. So I bought another one of those. Um, it just makes putting my makeup on in the morning so much easier when I haven't got to do concealer and foundation and powder, because it's all in one, which makes it so much easier. And obviously you can just put it in your bag and touch up your whole face throughout the day. Not a problem, brilliant. I also <laughs> got, oh my life, um, okay, also from Boots, right, I got the second Fern um, um, Compact, because these are now in the sale, um, if you go into Boots, these were £8, they're now half price, so I only got this for £4, and it was right at the back of the shelf, and I thought, yeah, no damage of that one, you know, no problem, this one is completely shattered, look at the green, is shattered, and this brown is shattered as well, but... It's not too much of an issue. So there's the brown, which is there on the end. The middle is this goldy colour. And then the other end, which is majorly shattered, is the green. And this is her night palette. Um, it's called From Dusk Till Dawn Eyes. I've got the day palette and now I've got the night palette. So um, I'm going to have a bit of a play around and see if I can do a tutorial to go from day to night using just these palettes. Have a bit of a play around, see what we can come up with. Um, could be interesting. Um, what else did I get? Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm talking really fast. I'm going to link everything, I'm going to list everything below like I usually do, everything that I've I've talked about. If you want any reviews or me to go into any more detail about anything, please let me know, because I know I am talking loads, but so much to cover. Um, Collection 2000 Pump Up the Volume Loud Lash Mascara. I've had my eye on this for so, so long, um, because I've got the other one, the Big Lash Mascara, and it is one of my favourites, and I let mine dry out, and then I just purchased loads more, and I never actually went back to getting my Big Lash, um, which I love. So this is extremely similar. It's got the massive, massive, massive wand. It's on a um, curvy brush. I don't know the technical name for it. Um, love, love the packaging. Um, and I just love Collection 2000's mascaras anyway, so I'm really, really looking forward to trying that one. Doubled up again on my Lasting Perfection Concealer. Uh, this is in Fair, which is shade 1. Light in the way. Um, but I absolutely love this concealer. I cannot fault this concealer whatsoever. I've got about five of them now. Love, love. I've got so much makeup. Why am I still buying it? Ugh. because I have a problem, that's why. And everything else I have here is all from um, Cosmetics Fairy. Now, if you haven't heard of Cosmetics Fairy before, I will put the link to their website below. Um, 
absolutely incredible prices, absolutely amazing prices for everything on their website. So everything that I have here to show you, nothing costs more than a pound. All of this is all a pound and under, oh, 99p and under. Um, I will list everything below with prices next to it. I thoroughly recommend you go and check this website out. It is amazing. If you spend over £10, you get free delivery as well, which I think is fantastic. The only thing that I will point out is that they do a lot of testers, so just double check when you read, um, when you choose your item, um, that they are proper products, because I've ordered some eyeshadows and they've come in kind of tester pan form, so, which isn't a problem, but just double check, obviously, when you order that you're ordering a product and not the tester, but as I said, it's not an amazing issue. Um, but let's just get having a look and see what I've got, because I love this stuff. So, I've actually ordered quite a lot from um, Bourgeois, because I didn't realise, actually, if I can find it all, go, that they were on this website. So when I found it, I was like, click, have that, I'll have that, and I just clicked on, I actually thought more than that. <laughs> There's me saying, oh, yeah, I've got loads of Bourgeois stuff, and I actually only have four things, but hey ho never mind so um as i said all these ones all these are um are testers so this is an eyeshadow and it is in the color it doesn't say what color it is but i'll list it below i can't well, i can't find what color it is i could read my email but that would be um that'd be using the old noggin um so it looks like that i won't take it out because it actually has no magnet on the bottom it's literally just this but it's one of their um baked shadows and it's in this absolutely gorgeous chocolate brown colour. I love this so much. Um, I don't think as well it says sizing on it. 1.5 gram. It does say on it that it is a demonstration tester. You, you can just about read it across the bottom there. It is a tester. It really doesn't matter to me because it's just going to go in my eyeshadow drawer. And I will be using it because it's a beautiful colour. Next two shadows again are testers. These are the... Um, I think they were called stretch eyeshadows on the website. Um, again, from what I can see, it's ah, this is called. Oh, it says Maxi Blanc on the back, which I'm presuming just means white. Um, let me do a swatch of it if I can. But there's that one's beautiful pearlescent white, and then this one is the brown one, and it's just called brown. So there's a better view of the brown one, and I will do a swatch of that one as well. This is really, really rich, beautiful, so velvet to the touch. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So prices for those are below as well. And I also got one of their mascaras. And this is the 1001 Lash Lashes and from Bourgeois. I believe this was 99p. Multiplies the number of lashes. Um, it is in brown. Um, it's a very, very strong brown, actually. I didn't realise just kind of how brown. But... Um, I don't mind because I, I like wearing, I like kind of mixing it between wearing black lashes, black mascara and brown mascara. And I think brown actually looks a lot more natural anyway. So I'll be doing a review on this, but for 99p, absolute bargain. And okay, so I've got a couple of things from a cover girl as well, both lip products. I got this um, uh, Outlast Double Lip Shine. Um, and this is one of the uh, the lip shine and then the sealing lip clear lip gloss on the end and this is in the color power pink and I'll do a swatch this is absolutely beautiful I love this there are a lot of pinks just looks like that it's absolutely gorgeous I love this color and then I also got a lipstick and this is also in the color oh this is called ice blue pink I love the packaging love this color look at that color it's absolutely stunning and I'll do a swatch of it. I love this lipstick. I love this lipstick so much. There's the colour of it. It's just absolutely beautiful, pinky. Um, almost kind of a lilac. It's got lilac undertones. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I love both of those. So they're both from CoverGirl. As I said, um, all, all the time. I've said it loads of times. So prices are below. Okay, from L'Oreal, I got this, is a Bare Naturals Gentle Lip Conditioner, and it's in the colour Soft Sugar, but the other one that I bought, you can see that it's on there, you can't really see it, it hasn't got a colour at all, it is completely clear, um, but the they're so amazingly nourishing on the lips, I absolutely adore them. Quite a few um, eyeshadows from Rimmel, um, 
they all came in the tester pouches but they are all magnetic so I'm actually going to stick them into something and just deal with it. Um, this is one of the Colour Rush Trio and this is in the colour Orion and the colours are oh, lovely. the colours are just there so they're brown and a taupe and a, a white uh, kind of a cream on the end I will swatch all three of those for you there absolutely beautiful the next other uh, the other trio that I got is in Twilight Zone so as you can imagine um, these are all um, like for a smoky eye um, so a silver a white and a black and again I will swatch all of those for you there we go pigmentation on these are absolutely beautiful they're out of this world I love them. The next one is actually my makeup of choice for tomorrow. I've already decided. This is a quad, and this is in the colour Beauty Spells. And this is lovely. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. It looks like that. So you've got this gorgeous lilac colour here. It's like a plum there. Uh, this one's silver, and then a black. And the black is full of sparkles. So there's the black and the plum. There's the other two colours there. I've kind of swatched them together. Last one I got was the Colour Rush Quad in Bold Behaviour, and this is lovely as well actually. Um, more kind of, a lot more kind of more dark statement colours if you like. So you've got a peach and a plum, and then on the top you've got an almost, almost black but purple, and then this green, which these colours are absolutely gorgeous. There's the the almost black, which, oh this one, which doesn't even look that black, it looks quite brown, and the green. And then this is the pe uh, the purple and the peach as well. So again, you can see with the pigmentation of these, absolutely amazing. Um, and as you can see from the prices below, it's pretty sweet. Two things from a company called Amour. I've never heard of them before, but I love the packaging. Look, the O is a heart. <laughs> it's really sweet. This cream eyeshadow, um, and it's like in this kind of oyster pink. I love this. This is so cute. Really, really sheer. Um, but I love using cream um, shadows for bases and they also got another lip gloss and this is in a really really bright candy pink and it is in the colour I don't have a colour I thought it had a colour I'll put it below if it does it might just be um, might just have a, a code number or something I can't remember but it's just there so it's really really bright pink it doesn't this lighting does absolutely no justice. I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's terrible. I cannot help it. I'm very sorry. Um, I've got an NYC nail polish in the colour Midnight Amethyst. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Like this purpley blue. I love it. I cannot wait to use this. I'm starting to go a lot more for bolder um, nail colours. So when I saw that I was like I'll have that because I bought these two as well this is the collection 2000 part <laughs> um this is the maxi flex five day wear polish in Shiraz and it's just gorgeous as you as the name would suggest kind of a red wine color it's actually coming out quite brown but it's this really, really dark beautiful beautiful red it's gorgeous and I loved this one this one was tease um now do not adjust your sets <laughs> is actually that bright <laughs> it's really really almost neon green i love it check that out it's one of their hot looks as well i love their nail polishes collection 2000 do incredible nail polishes um speaking of nail polishes i'll put the link to shelly's channel below shelly x85x here on youtube is doing a fantastic opi giveaway at the moment so if you're not subscribed to her i'll put the link below go over and check her out she's wonderful um you have to have to go and just just check out her videos because she's so addictive um i can watch her all day i think she's amazing she's a very very dear friend of mine um we talk a lot i love her to pieces so if you want to get your hands on some opi um or a chance to get your hands on some opi should i say then click the link below and go over and check her channel out because you won't be disappointed okay so from uh also from collection 2000 i actually didn't i don't think i read it properly um, because um, this isn't really in my kind of comfort zone for a lipstick but I'm willing to give it a go um, this is an incredibly red bright red lipstick which obviously is a kind of winter statement color anyway it's in the color playful which is number nine It's from their color extreme um, line and this is just the smallest of swatches and you get so much color 
So I'm looking forward to giving it a go. I'm actually going out for my company's Christmas do on Friday. So I might just try and play that into my look a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not too sure on it. Um, I got one of the Love Your Lips uh, lip glosses from, again, as you can see, from Collection... Oh, if I turned it around the right way, that would work. Um, Collection 2000. And this is in the colour Tender. It's a moisturising, non-sticky lip gloss. Helps to protect and care for lips. Contains antioxidant, rose hips, and mango extract to soothe and hydrate. So cute. Smells amazing. I won't do a swatch because you won't see it. It's on this tiny little brush, which I love. And it's just really, really cute packaging. It's a gorgeous colour, so it's going to be obviously like a nude gloss, which would be lovely if you just want to go out for the bare lip. And then also from Collection 2000, I bought two of the Vinyl Lash Extensions. They're both in, they're both the same, both the same uh, mascara, only this one is in ultra black, and this one is in brownish black. It's not brown, not brown black, brownish. Brownish. I'm sure that's not a word, but... So it looks like that. That's the black one. That's ultra black. Oh no, no, that was brownish black. Oh, Harriet, never go into advertising because your pants. And that's the ultra black. So they look exactly the same on the computer. I don't know why I bothered just doing a, just showing you those, but I did. Um, and then lastly, no, two more things. Um, I bought a new makeup bag. It's a Cosmopolitan with the beautiful. Farrah Fawcett on it. Um, she's absolutely stunning. She was my dad's favourite Charlie's Angel. Um, she's such a beautiful woman. Um, so this is obviously um, the front cover of um, a magazine and then it's just a normal makeup bag. But um, I love Farrah Fawcett. She's absolutely gorgeous. Check the hair. She was the only one that could wear hair that big. Um, such a waste when she died. It was such an absolute waste of life. I you know, it's not fair, it really isn't. My absolute bargain buy of my whole thing, um, I didn't realise um, just how big this was, but this is a bronzer, it's by a company called City Colour, uh, which I think I might have bought a couple of things of theirs in my last haul, um, but I bought a bronzer, and when I saw the picture online I thought, you know, it's going to be, you know, something little like the Natural Collection blush, because that's the kind of impression I was getting from the website. No, no! <laughs> this thing's huge! You guys alright? I doubt you can hear them. They're kind of squeaking to each other, it's really cute. Anyway, this is the bronzer. It is absolutely massive, and I did a swatch of this at work earlier when I, when I, um, when it arrived in the post. And I was just giggling away because this is just immense. So there's the bronzer. I don't think I'm actually going to use it as a bronzer. That is the colour there. But if you take a bit from this, look at the sparkles in that. Let me just swatch these across my hand. Look at that. I mean, there is no way I could possibly wear this as a bronzer. I would look like... You know, I've just covered my face in varnish. The glitter in this thing is just unbelievable. So, this is quite possibly the biggest eyeshadow I own. Um, I'm not scared to use this as a as a as a um, um, as an eyeshadow. Um, possibly a highlight, maybe a little bit of a sparkle if I'm going out. I'm not using this as an everyday bronzer, but for the price of it, it's not a waste at all. It was amazing. So that's everything. I'm so sorry again I've spoken for so long but um, I promised you a video for ages so I wanted to do this haul. I've really really enjoyed shopping at um, Cosmetics Fairy. Forgot! That's really bad. I forgot where I shopped. Um, I only did it a couple of days ago but um, I will put all of the information in the description box below. Please give that a read for prices and where I got everything. Also for the link to Cosmetics Fairy and also to Shelley's channel. Please leave me your comments because I love reading them. I have an absolute blast reading some of your comments. Um, and until I see you next time, I will talk to you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye.